The Human Experience Inside the Humanities at Stanford University humanexperience.stanford.edu Because on the topic of African-American and Latino relations uh, in a place like Los Angeles, they, their attitudes are pretty much determined by the media. And the media paints a horrid picture of, of these groups. Um, gang, intergroup gang warfare, murder, mayhem, you name it. It's blood, uh, and, and if it bleeds, it leads in the news, right? Whether it's the print media or the electronic media. So the most surprising thing that I think people will come away with with this research, if you get below the more dramatic aspects of it, that is political tension among the Latino and African American leaders, you go down to the neighborhood level, you begin to see elements of cooperation, especially among women that are tending to their children in the same neighborhoods where they're going. They may have difficulty communicating, but there's something basic about caring for your family, right? And it's not to suggest these unite people, but it begins to allow them to see that there are some commonalities instead of differences. But that we don't hear about that in the press. These are the things that are going on daily. Another thing, there's dozens and dozens of organizations in East Palo Alto and, and Los Angeles, other places that I'm now investigating, where this work of creating coalitions of, ha of, of very explicit steps for people to understand and live with one another how that occurs, uh, these groups are facilitating that. We never hear about that in the press. So those are the surprises I think that most people will come away with uh, once this research is published.